I ended that video so terribly last time. You have no idea. Yeah, what RPG would it, you know, what kind of JRPG would it be without um, a plot twist of that kind? Yeah, I'm sure most of you guys have figured out Duel Magus is actually not the final boss of the game. In fact, that's kind of why Jessica left the party, and we're going to be chasing her in this episode. Don't know how long this episode's going to go, but we're going to be chasing her. Also, something I want to say before I get too far into the video, I have am actually using a different setup right now. I got a different microphone, and I know it's, you can probably tell the difference. It's not, you know, right up to my face. I need to buy a pop filter for it first, though, but before I really, really, really start heavy using it. But I actually uh, plugged in some headphones to my TV, so I'm actually hearing the music that, and I don't have to worry about having the sound really low on the TV when I record. So, yeah, so luckily the only background music you're going to hear is just kind of my computer and the PS2 and me clicking on the controller. Anyway, um... Bah, 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 bah. Brain not wanting to work right now. In the last video, at the end of the episode, someone said that there was a big crash of... Oh, here's all Jessica's stuff. There was a big crash and thump in the, um... Uh, near the northern, uh, barrier. So, we're gonna be heading there right now. To find out what's going on. We have a kitty now. Well, not now, we've always had the cat. So, we will be heading in that direction. Uh, basically, the best thing to do is just kind of follow the paths straight. It'll hug the mountain, and then you'll go straight north. I don't remember if I showed it off in the video. I might have, uh, but it was the video where we went to go fight the Argonian wizards, and Prince Chamwe was following us and the woeing the wobble use, and I can't talk like him that much. It'd be awesome if it was Elmer Fudd, though. Then I could make fun of him, but no. Nope. No luck. Man, this is a very... Wow, we're going really slow on this. <laughs> I forgot, like, how slow you go once you get on bridges. <laughs> but no, I've also... Uh, like I've said before, I usually don't travel on the Sabercat. Like, whenever I'm actually playing myself. So I forget just how close these places actually are. And why am I staying on the track? I don't know why. Um, yeah, if you just follow this path, it'll take you straight towards the barrier. Or, um, checkpoint. Yeah, not barrier, checkpoint. And this is where we need to be to learn about... Oh no, it wore off. Woot, running from battles. Awesome. No, uh, here is the... Blah. Man, my brain's just not going to work right now. <laughs> this is the barrier, or for uh, checkpoint that was blown up. And if you notice, it kind of looks a bit f similar to the checkpoint that was blown down after we exited Fairbury on our way to Alexandria. Huh. I wonder if that could mean something. I think it could. Do you guys think so? But here we are, this new town, which I'm blanking on the name of. Oh, hello, Jury Music. I guess we, uh, we just want to hear the music. Arcadia, okay. Oh, what did he say? All places full of mainstream the workshops look around, and you'll see. Oh, will we? I bet we will. Same girl broke this up. Huh. Now, why would Jessica go bursting through a checkpoint and over here? She has no reason to come over here. Also, I don't like how people are blocking um, our progress. But I guess it's like wanting us to go a certain way. Like, to go into here. And maybe investigate. I don't know, maybe. Could be what we were supposed to do. I don't know. It's been a while since I played the game. <laughs> I think I'm actually actively playing this game right now. No, I have school. <laughs> I should actually be studying. I'm gonna have to write a paper after this, after I record this video, because I'm a slacker. But I wanted to at least play uh, something today, because I haven't recorded anything in almost two months. Why is this music, why is the Dark Ruin music, like, so eerie and awesome sounding? What? Hello, Mr. Cook, we're gonna talk to you. Oh dear me, I'm just a poor cook. Please don't hurt me. Huh. Now why would a cook be worried about his safety? Um, also, what are you two ladies doing? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, Mom! 
Huh. It's like there's probably someone upstairs. And I think I got what I need. I think I have enough mini medals for something now. So, so, oh. Hello, Mr. Soldier, which I was stepping on your head. She's paralyzed me with a single spell. David's upstairs, but he won't stand a chance against that girl alone. Please, help him fight her off. Really? Jess why would Jessica be... Jessica didn't know any paralyzing spells. And why would she start attacking people? I mean, I know she's a bit distraught from having her brother killed, but she's never been, you know, irrational and just, you know, that com in, you know that impulsive about things. I guess we'll find out. Hmm. Don't come any closer. I don't know who you are, but I won't let you hurt Master Dominico. What are you mumbling about, David? What could you possibly do to protect me? You useless good-for-nothing. Move! Ah! Oh, of course, Master. Listen to me, girl. I am Dominico, the great magician. I presume you have come for me. Well, I regret to inform you that I knew you were coming. I foretold this encounter. Consequently, I have already mastered the spell necessary to eliminate a pesky little wand waver like you. So, away with you. Go back to where you came from. Alakazam! <laughs> Such a pity! Such a pity! You can't see how useless your feeble enchantments are against the might of this scepter! Already it has claimed the lives of four heirs! What? Enough of your trickery! Nothing can resist my magic. Alakazam! It is time to end this now. Watching you struggle on in vain is just too pitiful. you some time, you'd already be dead. Don't worry. You're safe. For now. I'm not in the mood to take you all on at once. I just haven't got it in me. If I were you, I'd prepare a more sturdy defense for our next meeting. And perhaps a shroud! That, uh, that was a narrow escape. Oh, Master Dominico, are you hurt? Get off me, you disgusting piece of filth. This isn't a chance for you to wheedle your way into my good books. I, I, I wasn't trying to. I just... Enough! Go and give Sir Leopold his dinner. Can't you see I have business to attend to? O of course, Master. Yo, it seems I am indebted to you. Come. Now, what would Jessica be doing with all the magic powers? Why was she, you know, talking like how Magus was speaking before we murdered him? Why... Why would she was still having the scepter? I don't understand it. Well, what did she mean by the four heirs were killed? 
I don't think, I, I don't know if that means anything. It probably doesn't. I don't know. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. Maybe he has something important to say. I don't know who you are, but I imagine you know who I am. You've heard of the great Dominico, I presume. What an honor to have helped me. How lucky you are. I will permit you to dispense with formalities and simply call me Master Dominico. Now then, that wall waving sprat, she said something rather ominous about coming back, did she not? Believing the great Dominico cannot magic up a barrier stronger than the one I had already erected. So, despite having thanked you already for helping me before, I shall now bestow you with the honor of running a little errand for me. You accept, no doubt. Well, we, we have to, because the game will not progress unless we don't. Good. Now then, there was... There has long been a family of stonemakers in this town called the Cranbartles. I don't know how to say these things. There are two jewels known as the Cran sp Spinnels, which have been in the, that family for generations. The jewels harbor tremendous magical power. I've asked them to give me the gemstones before, but the last Cranbartle was a stubborn old fool. He refused to listen to reason. So your task is simply to per persuade the Cranbartle family to hand over the Cran sp Spinnels. However stubborn they are, I'm sure they won't ignore a truly heartfelt plea. Anyway, the method you use is up to you. I only care about results. I'll be unable to construct a barrier capable of warding off that pesky wand-waving winch without these jewels. So, hurry along. Oh, you foolishly forgot to ask me. The Cranbars live in a tiny little place situated just below the fountain in the camp yard. Blah, 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 blah. Man, you talk a lot. Oh, okay. That was weird that that wasn't a cutscene. Like, usually, most of the time in the game, whenever it's, like, you know, heavy on dialogue, or, you know, heavy on text, it's usually a cutscene. But first, before we go anywhere, I gotta loot you. Sweet stuff I'm never gonna use. <laughs> because I don't... I'm not using a mage character, really. Well, Jessica was my mage, but she's gone. I wonder whenever we're gonna be getting our other... Our new party member. That's how these games always go, you know. As soon as someone's evil or, you know, leaves the party, we never get him back again. Or they could die or something, I don't know. Let's see, where is that little guy at, the one who was looking at the dog. Let's talk to you for a bit. Here you are, Leopold. Dinner time. I I'll leave it here for you. Oh, uh, I I'm sorry. Have I done something to upset you? Please, I'm truly sorry. Ah! Oh. Oh, it's you! Oh, thanks for what you did before. It's because of you that Master Dominico is safe. Are you on your travels by any chance? I thought so. I could tell. I was travelling around the world myself until about six months ago. Yeah, it'll be six months ago now. When I got here, I was penniless and so hungry I collapsed. But Master Dominico helped me. He said he'd let me work for him here at this house. I was so grateful. He can be a bit overbearing at times. But in his heart, he's a truly kind man. Really? Man, he must not have met anyone, you know, good during his adventure, because that guy's an asshole. <laughs> he will, he's not a kind-hearted person. But no, anyway, um... We have to go find... Where's the fountain at? I don't remember where these things are. It's been months since I've even touched this game. And I don't remember where the fountain is in this game. Uh, I mean the town. Do, 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 do. But anyway, yeah, we have to find the Cran Bart Lol. I, I don't know how to say people's name unless it's written in text. Or, you know, they're actually spoken. So we have to find that person's house. And they were by the fountain. Where's the fountain? Oh, wasn't there a fountain, like, at the beginning of, like, the entrance to the town? I think so. Oh, yeah. Duh. Why don't I look at the map? Oh, there it is. I'm smart. I pay attention to things. But no, so why would Jessica be, you know, this evil and forbearing? Did I go by the... Where is... Oh, my gosh. Where is that? Where is the fountain? Like, I don't know... I, I, I hear stuff. I do. But I don't, like, know. Uh huh. Like, in all honesty, I know where to go after this, but I don't know where to go right now. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna loot people and talk to them. Maybe they'll know. They'll say where to go. 
Ooh, leather dress. But the hero will look great in that. Oh, okay. Oh, good. That actually was good I came in here. Grandma, who are you? Uh, you're looking for the Grand Spindles? You'll have to talk to my father about them, I'm afraid, but he's not here. He's building a tower up north of town. You'll need this if you want to get in there to see him. Oh, okay. Cool. It's right on, I should go... Right on, was he a fucking Pokemon? Anyway, yeah, let's look at the stone sword he gave us. <laughs> a rather dull-looking sword carved from stone. Actually, the funny thing is, the hero can equip it if he wants to, but just no. <laughs> We're not going to since it's, uh, you know, it's it's 12 attack. I mean, I guess it's nice that it actually does something, but, you know. <laughs> if it's weaker than what I already have equipped, I see no reason to, uh, to equip something. Now, where's the town? Oh, okay, there's this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ugh. I don't know what's going on. I've been, I've been drinking water all day, so I need to burp a lot. I don't, I don't know how that works, but it, it does. No, uh, we're gonna go to the shops real quick. I don't, I think we kind of have the max stuff already. Oh, there you are. You just hadn't loaded. Uh, so so this must be. Oh, it's a knife. That's why. A bastard sword. Oh, uh, he's it's a real jerk. Hmm. So, we'll come back for that Bastard Sword later, but not right now. But I will sell this, because Jessica won't be needing it. Anything else I can sell? Uh, now I'll just keep my stuff in there in case I need to do alchemy pot recipes later. Well, hello, Ragnar. That might be the same guard from uh, Argonia. I doubt it. But it could be. Yeah, just so you know, I'm, I'm gonna go on a little t uh, rantish. This, I kind of hate how this game at times, you know, makes it seem like, you know, the, the for women, the, the more powerful armor is the most revealing one. And in all honesty, this is a very, very good piece of equipment for Jessica. When we get her back, yeah, that I, I kind of should, you probably guessed that she was gonna be in our party for the rest of the game. This is one of the better pieces of equipment for her for quite a while, but the problem is, it's like since it says magic bikini, it is quite literally a bikini, and it has one of those little like I guess just a sash or shawl or something. I don't know what it is. The little piece of fabric covers up her legs a little bit. That's that's like her best piece of equipment for a long time. Everything else is kind of yeah. We're already pretty maxed out level wise or not level wise, equipment wise. So we can't afford the bastard sword. So we'll just come back later for that then. But now, to the to the north where that tower is that uh that guy said stuff about. And to be honest, I don't know how long I'm gonna make this video. I really don't know. But first we are gonna cast Holy Protection, cause I just I don't feel like editing out battles at this point. <laughs> Or I don't feel like it. Yeah, I don't feel like editing battles out. Actually, we're just gonna transfer it to the hero, so it's already in his inventory. I don't have to keep looking through the bag. No, not the slime earrings. Yeah. And off we go to the tower that Master Rhydon is in. I swear, right on. Uh, Pokemon having to ruin every name for stuff. Nope. Oh, okay. I can just follow this path here. Yeah. I'm sure you've already noticed that, like, the... the foliage and stuff is getting a bit, you know, more, uh... autumn-looking, which I like. Well, and also it doesn't help the fact that, you know, up north we are coming up to some, uh to some, like, wintry stuff, so I guess it wouldn't, by na you know, naturally look like it was getting, you know, more autumn-looking. Also, like, I, like, the sun setting makes it look really pretty. This is just, like, a really good-looking game. I, like, I've said many, 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 many times before. I could, we're heading the right way to the tower. Oh, no, he ran away. Oh, okay, like he was supposed to. 
excuse me while I get a drink. Uh, it's good that I have a big desk right now to work on my uh, Let's Playing stuff. Those with this inside insert the stone sword to the hole in the door. Okay. Will do, Master Rhydon. Yeah. And in we go. Oh, I was I pressed the map button. I'm not, I'm not used to not having a map. But this should be the map. Good. So this is our dungeon for the time being. Oh, I get Guess I can't use the map at this point. Now I think there probably is some stuff on the outside, but since I kind of want to, kind of want to just get this uh, tower out of the way, I'm not gonna look for treasure really, because like it, this is just gonna be a long video as it is. Now Hocus Chimera, I'm sh I'm pretty sure we've seen regular Chimera before. But these guys are going to be a bit more, uh, I would say a bit more powerful. Uh, not, maybe not as powerful as the other Chimeras, like strength-wise. These guys know magic. I'm sure they know more breath attacks. And they're just going to be kind of a, <laughs> going to be annoying to deal with. And golems, um, we've not seen before, but these, kind of like what they look like, they're just big hulking, uh, they're just big hulking things that take a lot of damage and can heal, and, or not heal, uh, they can hurt us and just, you know, be really annoying. So we'll just take care of these guys as quick as possible. Using that spell that, <laughs> that, that zap spell just makes, um, just makes the hero way too overpowered. Man, this guy has a lot of HP. And he does take, he does hit a lot too. <laughs> But we'll get him. We'll get him this turn. Oh, I don't have a... Oh, good, these are different targets. I was going to do, like, a, a uh, group attack, but since... But since the Hocus Chimera are two different groups, can't do that. Come on, stop using Flame Breath. I hate you. And why is Yingus taking the least amount of damage from these guys? I mean, I'm not com going to complain that much, but I just I find it weird that he is when he's not at all magically inclined. Yeah, because, you know, Angelo and Jessica are the ones who are like that. But yeah, so I don't think we'll even be leveling up in this uh, this video just because, you know, we've, we're pretty overpowered for right now. Just... Because honestly, learning um, learning multi heal before fighting Dual Magus makes this a very uh, easy uh, easy game for a while. Let's talk to you, little slime. Squelch. It's no good. It can't move it, even if I push as hard as I can. Okay, you little derp. We'll push for you. Can I? Oh, not bad for a human slurp. You're strong. You'll need to. You'll need to be to climb this tower. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love how this this uh, dungeon is basically a... Um, it's just a giant puzzle, and I like it. I love it whenever games do this, you know, correctly. Oh. Okay, so I see how we're going to have to do this. I'm going to have to go over here, and then go up the stairs... Actually, while I'm thinking about it, I'll just cast Holy Protection, since this is this is a puzzle tower. Yeah. True, maybe a JRPG, but you know, we can't get rid of the puzzles completely. Which actually is not bad. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, I love me some puzzles in a JRPG. Golden Sun, freaking shout out to you. Love me some Golden Sun. Oh, no. Okay, so living statues. Um, they're like uh, golems just with a lot more HP, so, and, oh, they're barely twitching. <laughs> well, I guess they would be barely twitching if they're living statues. Makes sense to me. I don't know, you guys might make sense too as well. I know, so we just gotta get rid of these guys and do things. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I never do. Oh. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I just like it whenever things that aren't supposed to move, you know, move. Especially in this where they're like, Durr, Man, these guys have a lot of HP. Come on, Yangus. Lower their defenses. Oh, sweet. That's that's a lot. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, good. We'll get him this round. Sweet. Love when that happens. Yeah. Come on, push. Come on, hero. Get behind the statue. I realize it's kind of difficult because, you know, you're mute. Yeah, my only complaint about this, um, not this dungeon, but kind of like right now, you can't jump down, so you have to go all the way back down the, the, the stairs, which is, it's not, you know, it's not terrible, but, you know, just, it makes the, makes the dungeon kind of a bit longer than it feels like it, you know, than it has every right to be. And you'll weigh us down while we go up here. Because we'll be using gravity to our, uh, you know, to our, uh, um, advantage. That's the word I was thinking of, advantage. Actually, like, now that I'm playing this, uh, again, like, I, I've realized that it's basically a, not a carbon copy, but it's very much a, um, an homage to the, uh, to the temple of, um, uh, what was that thing called? Oh, the temple in, um, Dragon Quest V, where you got the, uh, the Mirror of Ra, that temple. I don't remember what it's called, but, yeah, it's very much like that, where you have to kind of just navigate your way through a little tower full of puzzles. But, of course, this game is much, you know, since PS2 and that game came out, you know, on Super Nintendo, uh, this one has much more, you know, advancements in technology, so the puzzles in this game can be much much more suited to, you know, fully 3D environments and be, you know, beautiful and difficult as well. Because, you know, I never give this game enough praise as it is when I'm playing it. <laughs> no, I don't think, I don't think, I don't, honestly don't think any Let's Players ever get, like, I, I know this is going to sound egotistical, but I don't think a single Let's Player has ever given as much credit to a game as I have with this. Like, I don't know, just like every game, I'm like, I love every video, I'm just like, I love it, squee. <laughs> I've just, I've never seen a Let's Player do that, because they, they're most of the times like, oh, you know, I like this game, but I'm just like, I love this game. Me love it. Now, let's see. I will put you down, so that way I can come back to you a little bit easier later on. Yeah. Now, this, is, this temple is a bit blind, in the sense of, uh, I haven't played it in a while. But this whole game is, um, hmm. Oh, why am I like? Uh, so can I like pull? Oh, no, no, no! Come on, camera. Can I pull you someplace? And oh, okay, now I see what I'm supposed to do. I think I'm gonna push you onto this thing, and it will take you. There we go. Oh, it's not gonna take me, but it'll take that thing. I see how you're doing, game. Oh well, I'm not complaining. Can I like push this off? Okay, good. And down it goes. Oh man, oh man, this video is gonna be long. But it's like it's been a while since I've done like just a dungeon video. Like I mean, I'll admit, you know, it was a. Uh... Oh come on, come on, Dude, grab the statue. Come on, hero. Thank you. I mean, I don't. I don't really think the dark ruins count because I'm just gonna spoil it for you. There is no. Uh, there's no boss at the end of this temple because it's just. It's just a, a dungeon for you know making a dungeon. But I'm not complaining because it's like I said, it's a puzzle-based one, and most most JRPGs really don't do puzzle-based uh, temples apart from Golden Sun. Like I said, love you, love you, Golden Sun. But you're just not as good as as this game. You're just not. And I will prove it to you. And those of you watching in the future, you'll you know what I'm talking about. But people watching in the present probably have no idea. But I do, and I guess that's what matters. 
I know what I'm talking about. Because I'm crazy. Was this the whole... Oh, this couldn't have been the whole temple. I could have sworn there was like a whole nother story of this. Did this holy protection just be like that awesome to me? Okay, good. It... Yeah. Well, there's a surprise. Making good progress, I see. And below, and behold, a wild Scotsman appeared. No, yeah, I, I, yeah, I was kind of, um, blah, brain wire. Why are you not formulating formulae? Blah, 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 blah. Why is brain not working now? I know why. It's because I'm talking. Okay. So. So there's two guys here. Do I want to go up this way? Or that way? Hmm. Okay, I think I get what I'm supposed to do. So you'll come here with me. I'm gonna go back down. Then I will push that statue off there. Push you, I don't know, I, wow, I was almost about to gesture to my TV. But then I was like, of course, clearly you can see this. I mean, I guess you would if I did a face cam and I was pointing to the TV while I was recording, but no, that's, I don't know. I don't think I'd ever do a face cam. I tried a face cam thing once and it failed miserably. It was me and my, uh, <laughs> one of my housemates who were playing Slender, and but that ended horribly just because the, yeah, I don't know what happened. I like, I set to record the game. I alt tabbed out. Well, no, I, no, I set up my webcam software to record. Uh, opened up Slender. Yeah, that's where we were playing Slender. Of course, everyone plays Slender on face cam. And uh, for some reason, after I had the webcam software up and then I turned on the game, it, uh... Oh, was this not the right way? Crap. Oh, well. Why, why am I... Oh, no, the protection wore off. Oh, no, the world's gonna kill us. Phew, we're safe again. I know, like, I, I, I really do apologize for, you know, constantly just spamming the Holy Protection, but I just, I don't know, like, I just want to make a video of not, you know, editing out, um, editing out random battles, because this, it's, it's, uh, di the, I, I'm in school right now, you know, and I, I really can't be, I don't want to say bothered to make, edit videos, I mean, I can edit videos, but, like, I don't want to spend, at, why did I come up this high? Am I just like, st oh, game, ah, why am I running around like a crazy person? Look, I'm so crazy, I'm running on the railing. No, I'm just, uh, I'm not paying attention to anything. Now, those last two uh, battles, you may think it's something interesting. No, I'm just running into one living statue, that's all it is. I guess the reason Holy Protection's not working on them is because they are, uh, Okay, now, can I, like... Hang on, how do I... And now, how can I, like... Do this and, like, make it... Onto stuff. Oh, man. I can... T I needed to... Do, uh, Oh no, I did something bad. Can I like go down the stairs and like reset this? Maybe that might be good, because I just, <laughs> I, I made a boo-boo. Did that, damn. Oh well. Like what I was planning on. Oh, <laughs> my dryer just went off and it scared me. Because I'm a wuss, apparently. But no, we'll be, uh... Okay, I think I... I think... I think I can get it right now. Maybe. If not, um... 
there will be not much of anything happening. Whoa! And down I went with it. I guess that looks good, you know. Don't really get much chance to go up with a puzzle, but oh, sweet treasure chest. Ooh, sweet. What does this do? I, I don't remember ever getting this. Huh, that's like really useful to have. So on to the main here with goes. I think it actually has more defense than the... It even has more defense than the slime earring, so... Sweet! Now, can I, like... push things and do stuff? So that way, like, when... No, 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 don't... Uh, I messed up, I can tell, because, like... Uh, holy protection. Oh, gosh, I'm just... I'm freaking just... Bleh. Why did I, I... I had just a brain fart. I know most people are probably like, You should push it on the thingy! So that's what I'm going to do. I, I should have, you know, just... <laughs> pushed the statue over here. Onto the pl the little platform over here and have it take up a s the stairs for me. Then I can push it on there and not be like a freaking idiot because I'm stupid. But it is nine o'clock at night and I've been up all day, so I blame it on that. Oh come on, come on, come on, come on! Hurry up, go a little faster, hero. And then it leaves me behind. Oh well. So how's everyone doing today? Oh, that, that's great to hear, because, you know, I gave you plenty of time to answer. I'm just, you know, you know, sitting here on my desk, recording videos, because I'm a nerd. I, I wear that proudly. Well, like, once I've started college, like, I've just, I, I've just kind of, I don't know, when in high school, like, I guess I did have the semblance of, oh, no. There were Soul Spawn and Golems. I thought we had seen all of Soul Spawn whenever we fought Dual Magus. But no, whenever I uh, was in high school, you know, I tried to do the whole, like, the, oh, I'm not a nerd, I swear I'm normal kind of thing. But then once I started college, I was like, nope, no, I'm pretty sure I'm a nerd. I, I don't, I, I don't really care. Because, um, am I just, like, blanking on what, oh, okay, I see what I need to do. Okay. Sorry, no, uh, yeah, whenever I started college, I was just like, nope, I'm a nerd. I'm glasses wearing, uh, video game playing, not anime watching, but, uh, action movie. Oh, why can I not push you down? <sighs> well, uh, this game, just, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I need to push the other, the other stand stone stir stir stir. The other stone statue over here, and have that. Nope, gotta push it a different way. Like I mean, I know I'm sighing a lot, but it's just like the oh yeah, I forgot how tedious just this this dungeon is. But I mean, like, it's, you know, it's kind of a good, you know, change in pace. You know, if you put on Holy Protection, it just turns into a puzzle dungeon. And there just, there's just, there are no puzzle dungeons in this game. This is the most complex, complicated one. I mean, I'll admit the last dungeon, not, not the Dark Ruins, the last dungeon of the game. Uh, it does have some puzzles, but this one's kind of the devilish, uh, the devilish one. But you do feel, you do feel pretty good when you master it. Mm. Oh, excuse me, I burped a bit. Oh, so it was kind of loud. Oh, well. I get to test out the microphone, and you guys get to hear it. Which does sound great, by the way, I might add. Uh, it was hella expensive, because it was from a mu music store. And I guess they thought I was wanting to buy a microphone uh, that would... 
you know, record uh, music, but I told them, I was like, no, I just need a really good, you know, quality microphone because I make videos for YouTube. I didn't say they were, you know, they were Let's Plays, but... Because I don't think anyone's going to be like, yes, I do Let's Plays. Well, I mean, some people might. I, I don't. I'm kind of a... I mean, I'm a nerd, and I do I do uh, wear my nerdness really close to my sleeves, but um, I'm not just like, yeah, man, I do Let's Plays. Oh, yeah! Unless, of course, you know, I, you know, I'm talking to other YouTube people, and then it's like, oh, okay, so that's what your channel is. And I'm like, yes, clearly it is, because I'm, you know, stupid, and I play video games. Well, I'm not stupid. I, I, I don't. I don't know. I'm tired. Okay, so this should, should, in all theory, hopefully get everything right now. Oh sweet, someone's playing Chivalry Medieval Warfare on Steam. Okay, so now that this is done... <laughs> I guess that, that whole puzzle there is just supposed to be like, well, you did kind of screw up, so... <laughs> you have to... <laughs> you have to learn the right way to do this. But yeah, this, I, yeah, I, I love whenever they do actually do gravity puzzles, and, you know, sometimes sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Most of the times they're pretty bad. This one's good, verging on just being really long to complete. Okay. Wait, did I just... No! Why did I do that? No, enemies have already fought before. Bah. Oh, well. It's not like it's that terrible. Okay. No! Why? Why are you doing this? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Do, do, do. Game. No, don't you even... Okay, thank you. Now I've got it right, I think. Now I'm pretty sure I have it right. Okay. So that Holy Protections ran out again. I'm going to cast it again. 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 Because I can. Do, do, ba, da, 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 do, do. I don't know why I'm singing the song, but I am. I think, good, I think this is the top of it, because that was, I think, the tricky-dicky puzzle. <laughs> yes, it is, good, we're on the top. Oh, it's nighttime. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're here. And the only difficult part is you just gotta find the guy building the, uh, the top of the tower, and it's somewhere. Huh. What an interesting mural. It's like there's sun and then a tower and then... Huh. A bird. Uh, didn't someone mention a bird in the last video? Where is... Oh, I didn't know there was battles up here. Soul spawns, go away. I don't want to... Oh, I have to fight you. Dang it. Bah. No, I'm taking seven damage. I'm doing so... They're hurting me. They're killing me so horribly. Uh, run away. Thank you. Yeah, I just did not want to edit that out. I thought there weren't any battles up on top. But I guess I was wrong. Do, 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 do. I need to stop humming. I know you guys probably don't care. I feel like I'm a decent singer, but I know you guys don't want to hear me sing. Anyway, this guy. Talk to. Hello. You made it! All the way to the top lake? Eh? Ha ha ha! If it's that easy, I've got more building to do. Can't have a novice like you get into the top. You're all right, young'un. I'm Rydon. And what do you want with a sculptor like me, eh? You're looking for the crown spinners. Ah, those old gemstones, is it? They've been out of my family for donkey's years. 
I've never even laid eyes on them myself. This is what I heard like. One of my ancestors put them in a... Ooh. Ah. Ah. This damn bark. Always giving me trouble. Anyway, I heard one of my ancestors used them in a statue she carved. That's right. It was the pinnacle of her career, they say. Her best work. Where's the statue now? I can honestly say, I don't know. You'll have to find it yourself, young'un. All I can tell you is the lady's name, if this whole block of mine isn't letting me down. Her name was Alexandra. That's about it, I'm afraid. Unless there's something else I can help you with. What? My son said I should pay him a visit once in a while? <laughs> there's no time for that. If a novice like you can get to the top of my tower, I've got my hands full here. I'll just have to build it higher. The only way is up, as they say. Well, you heard the Scotsman. We gotta go somewhere where there's a statue named Alexandra. Huh. And I do believe that there is a town that we can fly to called Alexandria. It's not exact, but... Huh. I bet it's close enough. Yes, yes it is. Incredibly, it is close enough. That is the right town we need. That's the right place we need to go to. But since this video is going on long, way too long as it is, um, I'm going to heal up in this town and call this a video. So, um, thank you all for watching this very long, very long, long, long long, not action-packed filled episode of Dragon Quest VIII. I apologize for it, but this, this, I don't really like this tower, so we just had to get this out of the way. Anyway, um, yeah, goodbye.